Hello viewers, welcome to the Rich Review Show. As you can see, I have decided to take a new approach to recording the show, thanks to our new cameraman and Ashley Thompson. Basically, a, there's a lot of changes go, that have gone on in the two months since we have last been going on. For example, we've got, I've been using a program recently, if you've been paying attention to my channel, called Bandicam. Which is a software that allows me to record what goes on on my laptop screen at any at any given time, and I can choose whether I just want to record game footage or if I just want to record something specific that is not in a game. Now, for a review that I used Bandicam to record for you, you people, I bring you Warframe. For those of you who do not know, Warframe is a free-to-play, third-person, cooperative game developed by Digital Extremes for Microsoft Windows and it's currently available on Steam. The game itself has graphics that are likely to rival that of Gears of War. And it is actually, and I've played it, it's a really good game. It does have a few flaws, but it's currently in its beta stage, so all those flaws can sort of be forgiven. Anyway, onto the actual review itself. The get, the get, the core fun, the core controls are are pretty much easy to get. You got your four moving controls, which stands for P C W U S A D. E, those are your movements. E is for your blade. F is for you to switch weapons. The right eight mouse button allows you to zoom in with your aiming, and the left button and allows you to fire your weapon, which is actually really important. The game also comes with some custom with some customization options. However, these these are mostly available at the main menu. Or the game does have a uh, does have a solo function. It is mainly to be enjoyed during when playing with other people. Pretty much for one simple reason. It is a co like I said at the beginning, it's a co-op game. And so some of the missions are actually really complicated to navigate the level of, but eventually you do actually get it round there, such as you can see in the footage that I recorded. I was stuck at that door, and I was searching for ways to des and I was desperately searching for ways to try and unlock it. But soon, that but you'll see soon that I realised that you have that you actually have to go through a tunnel. I didn't know that, so don't blame me for not knowing. Anyway, while I'll the get what the game itself actually has some really good pet manicure from since Digital Extremes were responsible for games such as Dark Souls, The Darkness 2, and you can tell that some of their magic has actually gone into this game. I mean, the graphics look amazing. It has a, it has a really in-depth story. And, well, what else can you have? Really interesting multiplayer. Anyway, on to the plot. The players control all a member of the a member of the Tenno. The Tenno are an ain't the Tenno are descendants of an ancient and mystical civilization of lost warriors from the Orokin era of Earth. Dur following a great war, the surviving Tenno were presented were preserved in cryopods for centuries. The Tenno now awaken to a awaken to a war, fighting and resisting warring factions as the sole bearers of the Orokin created Warframes, which give them powerful abilities in combat. And one of the races that they and one of the factions they face are the Grinir. The Grinir are a race of militarized humans motivated by fear and envy of those who have target targeted the Tenno race for extinction. They rediscovered the cloning technology and seized control of Earth through sheer numbers. The Grinner army is in bodily decay as their features are increasingly primitive 
as a result of continuous cloning. As such, they are forced to use technology as a crutch for their genetic de deterioration. An ideology of hate and discrimination towards the Tenno continues to start with the grin ear forward in the face of, in of inevitable dissolution. There is a third Earth faction that I've not discussed. There are two more factions that I've not discussed other than the game yet, and those are Corpus and another faction which I'll call the Infected. This has been my review for Warframe, and I hope that you decide to get this game. It is free to download from Steam, and I actually work and I actually suggest you get this game. Now then, it's time for Death of the Day. Recently I've been playing a, playing a new game from Gearbox Software uh, called Aliens Colonial Marines. While a lot of people say that this game was an absolute blowout, I actually maintain that it is a good game. It, although I don't like the weapon attachment and idea. So today's death of the day is the character of Bella from the game. And your brains are what they find in the garbage tomorrow. Not if you understand, asshole. Bell, lie down on the table. She had a... She had one of those face huggers. It left a baby one in her chest. How, how do you get it out? You, you... You... You can't. Wrong answer. Please, 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 please. Trust me. We've tried to extract the gestated life form. O'Neill, just let him speak. It's okay. The embryo will extract fluid and nutrients from the host to construct the placenta, but it, it, it's not like a human's. The placenta is like a weed rooting itself into every organ in the chest cavity. Look, even if you could surgically remove the embryo, the placenta is its like a cancer. Your organs will begin shutting down one by one, and then you just... You just die. Winner. Knock him out. Oh, Neil. I can't. Is it hot in here? Hey. Hey, Mel. Hey, Nugget. It's okay. Just... Close your eyes. You get that, Maureen? You promised. You get everyone off the planet. Urad Ashes Bell. That was our agreement. And that's all we've got time for today. Today, a sending credit song is the theme for Sonic Heroes, done by Crush 40 and obviously used in the game Sonic Heroes. It is nice to be back on YouTube, and I hope that the next episode won't take as long as this one did. But for now, bye! Step aside, I'll turn the